What's up YouTube, it's your boy Itchy and in this video I want to go a little bit more in depth about the Apple TV that I just purchased and just kind of talk to you about my experiences and talk to you about what it actually does. I know in the initial video I basically just t showed you the unboxing of the product and so far I'm very pleased with the product. Um, my wife, you know, she uses it a lot more than she initially thought she would. Uh, she uses it as, as as regular as she possibly can and I'll get to that in a second uh, we are running our particular uh, Apple TV on a uh, wireless router with HDMI and power cord only so it's a pretty simple setup and it sits right on top of my direct TV box and right under that is my Sony blu-ray player so um, at this particular screen right here what you see is all the different menus for lack of better words and they're all really simple menus um, airplay the different computers you can sync up put the Apple TV to sleep audio and video iTunes uh, store screensaver and general and basically once you buy this product from the store you plug it up you pop in your Apple um, ID and you're pretty much off to the races depending on how you want to connect to the internet uh, internet is a must with this particular product so you do have to have some sort of internet uh, in order to use the Apple TV um, you can do a wired Ethernet cord or you can do wireless which is what I opted for when you go into the standard menu hit it you will see this particular screen and this kind of just shows you the different apps that are offered and it's kind of a quick menu but you can even go deeper um, you can even watch YouTube directly from this if you so choose all you have to do is add your account information you can listen to the radio podcast and here are some of the other things you can stream photos whatever you want to do whatever basically is connected to your iTunes account should be able to stream through this box um, we I just want to show you guys just to look at how the Netflix menu is set up uh, basically you just click on it and boom here it is and everything loads relatively quick um, if you go to TV show genres and you can just hit the, you can go into the buttons and you know basically just show you everything that they have to offer um, we do pay for the Netflix I think it's like eight dollars a month service for the streaming versus the actual uh, hard copies coming in the mail and so far so good my wife's enjoying it I don't really do a lot of uh, Netflix watching but she watches it a lot it has a lot of different programming and it streams and the quality is really good um, not going to show you because I don't want to catch a copyright claim, but I assure you the quality is good. Um, now, for my favorite feature of, of the box, one of the coolest things about the particular system is that you can go in and on your Apple device, like say I want to pick one of my videos that I want from my phone if I'm laying in bed and it's too small maybe, I can just basically get that video up and let me go back small wait for me I'll skip my ad once you go in and you see this little thing that looks like well hold on let me cancel it so you can see it you see this little logo right there it looks like a uh, triangle and a rectangle basically if you hit that guy a menu will show up and that menu will say if you want to play the video on your iPhone or if you want to play on your Apple TV and if you hit the Apple TV it literally streams it right to the device and I've got full control on my phone I'm pretty sure yep and it's pretty cool but the quality if you guys can see is really good and my phone in the meantime goes dark but it quality is good and if I want to go back to the manual menu I just hit the actual back button on the phone and it takes it down and goes reverts back to the menu of whatever I was looking at before so it's kind of neat that I can break in at any time so if I get something on my phone that I really want to see if I'm in the middle of watching a show I can just pop it up and boom there it is and I can see it and that's how airplay ultimately works on the phone and on the actual iPads now another cool feature is that you can actually do a full screen mirroring thing um, I'm not doing it right now actually but if you double punch the home button and slide all the way over I believe it is it's the same little icon there in the corner and if you hit it you can go to you can go into your menu and you can turn mirroring on 
And if you turn mirror ring on, ta-da, what you're basically seeing, and that's probably a bad shot, but you're seeing on screen whatever's on my actual phone. So if I go to done there, I can go back in and I can see my actual screen right here on the actual uh, television. So if I need to type a message and I need to see something big, whatever the case may be, I can do it. And this basically brings an overhead projector right to my TV at any time with my phone or my computer. And to turn that off is really easy. You just go back in and go over to that little uh, Apple designed uh, AirPlay <laughs> insignia and you turn mirror ring off and it goes away and you go back to whatever you were doing. Um, the control design for this, the remote is really uh, minimalist and simple. Uh, you basically have a menu, a pause, play, and a directional button with a little sticky button in the, in the center that you can actually press. Battery slot on the back and that's it. It works really well um, for what it is. It reminds me of one of the initial um, iPods that came out and it's a cool little remote. Um, so overall, um, like I said, we're very excited with the actual build quality and what the actual um, Apple TV will do for us. Um, so far, so good. Uh, there's still a lot of things left to test, but um, that's pretty much, you know, the main function for me when I bought it was AirPlay and using it with my iPad and with my um, iPhone while I'm laying in bed and I want that's why it's in my bedroom so I could just stream something directly to the TV it's also pretty cool if you want to send a video game to the TV um, that works uh, really well or pretty well um, on some games some games not so well but overall it's a really good device and if you can find it on eBay for under a hundred dollars it's a no-brainer if you've got $100 to spend and you want a nice streaming device that works with your other um, iOS products and your uh, full-size Macs, it's also a no-brainer. Let me know what you guys think. That was just a real quick video kind of showing you the main features and functions of why I purchased the Apple TV and how I use it. Um, right now, it is a Netflix machine and it uh, helps me with, these, with my AirPlay woes. One thing I will mention, when you are streaming Netflix or Hulu Plus, or probably pretty much anything um, it this thing sucks a lot of bandwidth so be forewarned you probably wouldn't want to be streaming and playing you know uh, important multiplayer map at the same time or doing other stuff with your computers because you're just not going to get the same computer performance and I have a pretty decent pipe with a uh, 30 megabit down right at 30 well consistent 30 megabit download uh, 10 to 15 megabit upload speeds and it still, man, it sucks the internet down to pretty much nothing. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have an Apple TV or if you're on the fence about buying one. Uh, the interesting thing moving forward will be if Apple will create an actual TV with that little guy integrated in the TV and Siri. How cool would that be? That's all I got for this one, guys. Thanks again for listening to me ramble on. See you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.